in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a vignette in Photoshop Elements. And a vignette is when you take an oval and have your image uh, with an oval shape slowly fade out to a solid color. It is one of the most beautiful effects in Photoshop Elements. You're going to love this. Alright, I think you're really going to love this tutorial. So let's go ahead and open up Photoshop Elements. And we'll get our image open. And again, what we're going to really show you is how to take an image and fade it out slowly to a solid color in the shape of an oval. It really has a beautiful effect on, on images. So let's go ahead and right now we're going to go ahead and go down to the layer panel. And first thing we have to do is unlock this layer. Okay, and we'll hit the OK button, and now it's no longer background layer, and it is just a regular layer, but now we're going to add a layer, that's the add a layer button I just clicked on, and I'm going to left click, hold, and drag it above, the image needs to be above the new layer. Okay, now let's go ahead and select the layer, because we're going to start to work on the new layer first, okay? Very important you have this layer selected at this point. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to edit, and then we're going to go and select fill layer. And uh, this is the fill layer box. Now, you want to go over here to this drop down menu. And if color is already selected, which is what we want, I'm going to change it to black and then maybe just change it back to color. Because I need this choose a color box to open up. This is great. I love it. It's going to give you a color picker right away. And I'm going to select by left clicking on the color of her dress. And if you look here in the new, it's that's the color of her dress. I'm going to click, I'm going to select OK. Now look here. I'm going to drag this down and see how it's transparent now the checkers. But watch what happens when I click OK. Boom! It changes to the color of her dress, which we're going to show you why that's important real soon. So next thing that we need to do is we now need to work on our image layer. So we need to select the image layer. All right, all of this is going to be on the image layer now. Very important. We're going to the toolbar. And you'll see the rectangle marquee tool, but we want the ellipse tool. So you have to left click and hold on that. Now we're going to go ahead and draw, uh, draw, draw our selection. Can I say draw? Alright, so there is our selection. And if you don't get it perfectly, it's not a big deal. You can left click and hold and drag in the center to position it. Alright, let's go up to select and feather. And, you know, for this effect, 30 pixels usually works pretty good. You can try it with a different amount and see the different effects that you get, but I usually like 30. So let's go back up to select now and select inverse. And what that does is it's making us select everything but what's in the oval. And we're really done. All we're going to have to do now is hit the delete button on the keyboard. So let's do it and boom. Look at that. Isn't that great? Right now, we're going to hit a command and D or control and D on your keyboard to get rid of the selection and there it is. Now let's go ahead and grab the crop tool just to uh, kind of square up the image and make it look really uh, nice here. So we're going to click on the green check mark and boom there you go. A beautiful vignette when you get married. You can use it on any image but look how nice that really is. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hey, stop, stop that, stop it. Thanks for watching from Info Puppet.